Welcome indeed to Belgrade, a most beautiful night here after another magnificent day of sunshine. We've had a great air of festival here tonight and a great air of flag waving as well as you can already see. Here come the teams now, onto the pitch for the 1973 European Cup Final. It's Juventus from Italy in the striped shirt, the fabulous Ajax side wearing all red tonight. who are the favourites again tonight and have won the European Cup for the last two years and have been in the final three times out of the last four. 90,000 crowd in this Red Star Stadium in Belgrade here to greet two of the greatest club sides in Europe today who have fought through round after round of perhaps the most demanding club competition in the whole of world football, the European Cup. Jackson will have Stey in goal, Zubir, Hulsof, Blankenberg, Kroll, Niskins, Muren, Hahn, Rep, the fantastic Johan Cruyff will be wearing number 14 as usual, and Pete Kaiser, the number 11. As I say, just one change from the one that uh, won the European Cup final last year, the number 16, Rep, is there in place of Schwarz. Juventus with Dino Zoff in goal, Marchetti and Longobuco. The Juventus side, as I say, with Bettega now wearing the number 11 shirt. Salvadori, the Juventus captain on the left, and Johan Cruyff on the right of Ajax. And the 1973 European Cup final is underway. Ajax defending the goal to our right. Swept to the tall, blonde German, Blankenberg. Now it's with Kroll for Ajax. Far too far ahead for Hulthom. And Salvadori, the skipper forward there. Trying to find Anastasi. Salvadori again. Torino, ferocious little midfield player and a good run down the left again. That time by Anastasi, this time a free kick to Ajax. Croy taking it. But not from the right spot, so it's got to be taken again. It's with Johan Croy. There's that familiar turn of speed again, Croy. Sizing up the situation, curling it in there and off the boat. that Zoff allowed that one to get to the post but he did and uh, Juventus escaped and now it's Zubia the number three for Ajax and a goal kick to Juventus Blankenberg Niskan Most walking pace there by Ajax coming forward. It's with Blankenberg again and Muren is free away on the left. Curling it instead towards Rep on the far side. There's a goal! A goal for Ajax! And Johnny Rep, the man who's come into the side. A header that was away beyond the reach of Dino's off. And Juventus are behind with only four minutes gone. But here's Altafini for Juventus. Back this time towards Bottega. And Holtoff was very nearly in trouble there. That can look suspiciously like how ball as Holtoff came across. But here's Heinz Stein. Muren throw quickly taken he spotted Blankenberg coming up very quickly for Ajax Muren again but I think the whistle has gone no it hasn't there was a whistle in the crowd there and uh, again it was another little sparkling Ajax move with rep number 16 on the end of it Hulkov to Kroll again Zubir making the running down the 
right here, and a tremendous save! Because the volume has been turned up again. But it's with Eri Hahn now, for Ajax, to Subia. The little chip to Muren. Muren again, and overhead, and soft! But now Furino. Altafini, Furino again for Juventus. And it still won't come for them, and that wasn't a shot. And Altafini is in there. And Stai just got there a fraction before the Brazilian star from Juventus, but the landsman had his flag up. To Cruyff. Teasing his man, that little bit of extra pace, taking the ball on the run. Bullsock with the free kick. Muren in a surprising amount of space there, but it won't come through to Cruyff. But Cruyff is still there, and Cruyff gets it through, and Muren almost followed it in. Again, a wonderful piece of skill by Johan Cruyff, and Muren almost managed to chest it in. It looked for all the world as though Cruyff had lost this one, but he turned it across, and Muren off his chest with Zot going the wrong way. The long ball that hopefully will search out Altafini, and Altafini is getting there, but again, he couldn't get the shot that counted. But for a man of 34, competitor, and a good ball there by Haller, and Anastasi slipped and fell. And Ajax can take it up again with Johan Cruyff. Brought down by Perino, and the referee is bringing out the yellow card to show to the Italian number four, Perino. Cruyff shakes his hands, looks at his wounds, and here we go again. Cruyff. Such a beautiful sight when he's on the move. And look at that for a challenge. Quite ridiculous. And if anything, Farino is lucky to be allowed to stay on the field. The Kaiser are preferring instead to put it down for Mura. Now it's with Point. Beautiful close control and the ball clipped beautifully in there for Rep and almost a brilliant goal there for Ajax from Muren and it was Cruyff's pass that made it but uh, Juventus survived and are coming back again no they're not because away goes Ajax again with a tremendous shot and now can Rep turn that in again he can't tremendous shot by Hahn and if anyone really deserved to get a goal it was Airy Hahn Somehow Zoff got in the way of it. Here's Hahn again. Up and down the field, and that time in a truly tremendous attacking position. Somehow Zoff got there. Just look now as Rep turns it back again, and Zoff missed it completely, and the ball missed the post by a foot. And now to Cruyff. Cruyff getting a 1-2 going and controlling it beautifully. Brought down, though. Play goes on. Marchetti not penalised for number two. Cruyff a little despondent with that. Subir. Played now for Kaiser, but it caught him in the back. Kaiser going on now for Ajax. This could be very dangerous. Slipped there towards Cruyff, and Cruyff couldn't make a touch. Hahn. Cross this time towards Niskins. Longobuco is there after him. Still Niskins. And still Niskins. And a little touch off that didn't quite come off. And Haller now taking it up for Juventus. Eight minutes to go. Kreif coming in. Back for Rep, but he didn't give Rep too much of a chance. And Haller was on him. And Haller now sending it away. As it comes to Altafini. Anastasi right up there. Really not too many Juventus players up considering the state of the game. And Altafini going all on his own. And that time Kroll showing too much of it to 
the Italians again is this a chance now for Anastasi he took too long he took far too long and now we're left with three minutes to go Ajax still leading by this slender margin of one goal to nil Cruyff once more taking the corner for them with Kaiser now a delicate little chip again and Hulsop was right in there and it bounced on the top of the crossbar from Barry Hulsop trying to inject a little bit of life and a bit of fight into this Juventus side and now two and a half minutes left as Salvadori comes forward again it's with Anastasi Salvadori in almost unaccustomed territory there in the Ajax half of the field but he's found the number three Longo Bucco but in goes Niskins again touches it and he finds Rep throw almost casually there to Niskins Back again to Subir. Playing casually, and they could be playing with fire. And Kroll very nearly lost control there in a dangerous situation. Inside the last two minutes. A throw to Juventus. Longer Bucco with it. Juventus, who've never been in a final before, in danger of coming in for the first time into a losing final. Torino, finding Longa Bucco. Marchetti. Muir and closing in very quickly, so too was Kaiser. Lucaredo taking that free kick quickly and finding the other substitutes on his helmet, Haller. And away goes Haller. Anastasi and Altafini are waiting in the middle. Here's Anastasi, an overhead kick, and it goes off Blankenberg. And Stai just keeps it in play. And Stai almost put it back into the path of the Juventus forward. So it's a throw to Ajax, to uh, Juventus, now in the last minute of the game. Now, can they somewhere, this Italian champion side, find something that will bring about an equaliser? That's a goal kick. That means a few more seconds and we're in the last half minute. And it begins to look now almost certainly as though Ajax are going to win this European Cup for the third successive year. Another free kick to Juventus. There really is now just one crisis left for Ajax to survive as this ball gets pumped into the middle by Marchetti. Can Ajax hold out this one last threat? Blankenberg gets a flying header to it. Salvadori tries to pump it back. The referee looking hard at the linesman to see whether the time is up. Halla. Cucaredo turned nicely there. And that time it was number 16, Ref, who got him out of trouble. Now it's with Niskins for Ajax. The last seconds, indeed, we played 45 seconds of injury time. And Juventus being forced back in their own half of the field. Another free kick to Juventus. Haller put it straight at Kaiser. Kaiser put it straight back at Haller. And there was a handball there as well. So it's another free kick to Juventus. And now it's all over. And Ajax have won the European Cup for the third successive time. In 1971 against Panathinaikos. In 1972 against Inter Milan. And here in Belgrade tonight after a disappointing final. They've beaten another Italian side, Juventus, by one goal to nil. And now from Belgrade, good night to you all.